Hey, good afternoon everybody and welcome back to the channel on this beautiful Aloha Friday out here. Uh, today we're going to do kind of a fun quick little video on this new inverter line uh, that Reliable Electric has put out. And if you watched any of my earlier videos, you know I already use a 3000 watt pure sine wave inverter from Reliable Electric and it's working well. And they've just come out with this new line which is much more affordable than their other line and it's working well so I'll show you what I like about it uh, let you know they sent this out to me to take a look at and let you guys know what I thought about it and I've been running it for uh, off and on for a couple of weeks seeing what it can do and had zero problems with it so far far so here's what it looks like in the front just a on off switch ground couple of AC outs and then this is something that they uh, are promoting that they really like and it's a, a, a more involved LED display of the of what's happening with the inverter and I'll show you what that looks like on in a minute right now it's disconnected you also have a vent on the underneath in the front pretty large vent in the front mounting holes of course top and bottom and then in the back you've got a couple of uh, battery uh, cable terminals and like a lot of the reliable electric inverters or most of them I believe they're packing in them with, with uh, some six aug wire a few 40 amp fuses and a product manual and that's it that's what it comes with pretty bare bones but uh, the price point is pretty amazing so this is a live shot today on Amazon uh, that 1500 watt that I just showed you 169 bucks and there's a $10 discount I see on that not all of these have a discount but it's the same price at that size whether you go uh, 24 volts, same price, 48 volts, same price, and then it goes up, uh, it starts with a thousand watt in this particular line, and then it goes up in 500 watt increments all the way up to 3000. And the 3000 for the 48 volt, you can see 300 bucks, 24, 289, 12 volt, $300. So uh, cheaper than their other line that they had, and uh, they just put it out. So there you go about the affordability. I mean, a thousand watts for 120 bucks, pure sine wave. Now, once you get up to the uh, you can see like on this particular model it's a 3000 watt pictured it does have the ability for hard wiring right there the hard wiring capabilities on all of these don't start till you get up into the uh, 2000 watt i didn't see any of the 1500s that had hard wiring capability uh, and the one that we're reviewing today no hard wire capability just a couple of ac outs uh, weighs about six pounds you know not very heavy at all metal frame feels pretty sturdy and I've been running it on many different things now I've never uh, tried to pull 1500 watts from it and I never really try to run any of my inverters to max I always just oversize uh, when I was, if you watched that earlier video on the refrigerator, I did actually hook this up to a battery just to see how it would do. Left it running the refrigerator uh, for 24 hours. The fan, the cooling fan on this, never even kicked on one time. Now that was drawing about four to six amps continuous for that refrigerator off of this. And uh, so, you know, it wasn't a heavy, heavy load, but I'll say that I didn't even hear this thing running. And the fan never did kick on, so it was running cool the whole time for, you know, a six amp load. 
Okay, I just uh, tied those cables into the old trusty chins. So I'll fire it up and show you what that LED panel looks like. And I'm having to really square this camera up with the LED because I've noticed when I was running it, if, if you have to look down on it uh, from any kind of a distance, you don't get to read it that clearly. So there you can see voltage in, voltage out, out uh, AC, temperature 60 hertz. So 120 volts, 60 hertz, 25 degrees Celsius, and output nothing. Now this status box here, there's a whole code of different uh, statuses it could throw at you and I'll show you what that looks like here. But in order to read this you really have to be looking straight on at it. If you're standing above it uh, you can't tell what that says. So you have to be you know considering that if you want to be able to look right at it and see it that clearly. You gotta have a square look at it. And here's a, a list of the uh, code displays for any kind of a fault that you might experience. Battery under voltage would be BL and then down the line, you know, just about, you know, anything you could think of, it's going to be there. I won't read over all of them, but whatever code you would get for a fault, you can come to this and see what it is. I've never seen it throw one default at me uh, in my usage. But there it is. You'd want to hang on to this in case you did get a fault of some kind. It could pinpoint what it was. So pretty, pretty good little troubleshooting uh, code parameters that it comes with for anything that you may have done wrong hooking it up or something. There you go. So here's what I'm talking about if you're looking down at it. You can't really read that display accurately. You know, the the numbers just, you know, it shows like lots of zeros or eights or whatever. But there, again, not looking square onto it. You can see, kind of hard to read. Probably could have done a better job with that. And then you get it up where it's a nice square look at it and everything's just perfectly clear. But... At any kind of an angle, as you can see there, tough to read. So if you have it low, you're going to be on your hands and knees to read it. So you keep that in mind. And since we have the uh, handy uh, Chin Smart battery hooked up, I can show you uh, that the battery is, with the inverter on, is just in a standby position. Shows absolutely zero uh, current coming off of this in the on position. So, uh, you know, it says out amps 0.3. And since this uh, really needs to, uh, on the BMS app, really needs to be hitting it about an amp for it to read, I believe this 0.3 in standby position. So you can see just the 0.2. Point three. It's not sucking any power to speak of, just being on ready for a load. So uh, I won't I won't run anything off of it because uh, the things that I have that would draw the most load were like the Ninja or coffee grinder and things of that nature. I don't I don't need to make that kind of noise for you. I'll tell you I've ran all of those off these AC outlets. I've never pulled more than about. 500 watts off of it combined it pulled that easily and like I said I'm not going to run it up to 1500 watts but I have no reason to believe that it wouldn't reliables backs their products pretty good everyone that I know of that's talked to me about their products pretty pleased with them years on end so pretty nice little uh, new line of products they came out with boy the price point keeps coming down which is good for everyone doing it themselves. Pretty nice. Aloha Friday, everybody. Have a good weekend.